Hey guys, this is Silver from the Silver and Shadow Hub, and today I'm going to be talking about Yu Yu Hakusho. Now, if you were born in the 90s, you, like me, I'm 19, you probably saw Yu Yu Hakusho when it came on Toonami. <clears throat> now, Yu Yu Hakusho, it's about a, <clears throat> a street brawling delinquent named Yosuke Urameshi. Who uh? He's he, it's exactly how it sounds. He's a brawler. He goes he goes to like regular high school. People try to fight him just because he's strong, stuff like that. And then one day, completely out of character, he saves this kid who was who was about to get hit by a car, and he saves the kid. But and but by saving the kid, he gets hit by the car and dies himself. So when he dies. <laughs> He, his ghost is greeted by a uh, a woman named Boten, who she basically leads the leads um spirits to the to hell basically. <sighs> but they give Yosuke a second chance. In his act of valor, <clears throat> they bring him back to life. But they grant him the title of underworld detective, where he basically has to um investigate the paranormal stuff in the human world. And that's pretty much sums it up. There's a lot more to it, like he, like he, him, and his friends go from the human world to hell to enter into like a tournament and stuff. It it, it gets really crazy. <clears throat> now on to the point. My opinions on Yu Yu Hakusho: the good and bad things. I saw this anime when I was a little kid. I really liked it. Note this anime is old. <laughs> it's 112 episodes. Ah, <sighs> uh, it's 112 episodes. It's really old, like I just said. So the animations is like DBZ back then, like drawn and everything like that, instead of being used by mostly computers. There's exactly how it sounds. There's supernatural in the anime. There's martial arts. There's all that stuff. So those are yeah, those are good things I like about it. Another good thing is that it kept you interested. <clears throat> and it was pretty interesting too. Also, it's really long. It's 112 episodes. Ah, everyone get everyone gets powers. Yosuke he basically gets a kamehameha that he can shoot out of his finger, which he calls the spirit gun. And eventually he learns something called the spirit shotgun. <laughs> and eventually he be, he goes like pff, Super Saiyan three, but with black hair. <laughs> What else? What else? What else? Mm, there's too many things to say that I like about the anime. I will say there's still the bad things I didn't like about it. Is that some parts of the anime were pretty bland. Like, uh, how do I explain this? Uh. <laughs> Like, some parts were really boring, basically. Some parts were good, some parts were not. That's pretty much, like, all I gotta say, because I saw this when I was a kid, and I, I really liked it. And a lot of people who were, saw it back then, or will watch it today, will either like it or not like it. But I would, uh... If you're looking for, like, old-school anime, I would recommend this, yeah. Well, that's all I gotta say, so... bye bye